we've issued a recommended evacuation. Uh, I think what we need to do is uh, um, press harder on the, the fact that people are going to lose their services. If, if the water levels go to the, to the area that we've, uh, that we've seen or that are being posted, uh, people will lose water, they're going to lose sewage, we'll have limited ability to respond to emergencies from the standpoint of police and fire, but they're going to lose those core services, water and sewage, so this could get very uncomfortable. We hope we're wrong, but the projections that we were provided early in the week, up to Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, have all have all kind of um, uh, been been met and, and, a lot, and faster than we had thought. The recent days have told us that the projections have been accurate so 6.6 .6 meters is alarming and we need people to do that assessment uh, and we would recommend an evacuation uh, uh, while they can still evacuate. We, we will not support evacuation in the dark. The Carleton Community Center is the registration location for the Red Cross. Um, call the 1-800 number uh, and then even if you're self-evacuating with family or friends please let us know that you've done that. So register uh, and then beyond that, for overnight, we, we have set up overnight accommodations uh, at the university. The University of St. John has been a, a great partner in this incident. And uh, we've got the ability to, uh, to put a, people up, but it'll be in like, it'll be in a, you know, in a dormitory type environment. So, you know, we, we can do that, uh, but we would encourage uh, you to, uh, uh, to go to family, friends. We would ask people also when they do evacuate to take their pets with them.